G'day guys, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick. Today we're going to talk about how to make movie credits for your movie, just exactly the same way that the guys in Hollywood do it. So stick around, this is going to be a fun one. And guys, if you want to help support the channel, I have this wicked product called the Lyric Video Creator Kit, which not only assists you with making lyric videos, but is a quick and easy way to add some tasteful animated text to your videos. We've even got a 30 minute masterclass to help you get started. Still not convinced? All right. If you get the kit today, we're going to throw in the Olufemi Creative Pack for free. Three transition packs, the box lens transition, camera snapping effects pack, and identity transitions pack. Plus, all three of the light leak packs. That's $119 of stuff that you get for free when you purchase the Lyric Creator Kit today. It's an unlimited license so you can use it in everything forever. So what are you waiting for? Grab your Lyric Video Creator Kit today and get started. All right, guys, we're going to create the rolling credits from the end of a movie. And I just created a little trailer just so you can see how it all kind of works. They told us the war was over. We were wrong. All right, now we're not going to create the trailer today, but we are going to do the rolling credits. I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, we're just going to split it up into a few different formats here. So as you can see, there's a couple, there's a three different types that we're going to create. So the first one is this, which is just the, you know, I don't know what you call it, but it's like the big, the big, the big dog credits, basically. So it's like directed by, produced by, these are the important people in the list. Not that the cast isn't, but these are the, these are the guys who kind of make it all happen in that regard. So the, this, the top credits are always like in bold and then right underneath is where the next group of people are. Um, then we do the cast and on the left side, we always have who they were playing and on the right side, we always have who the actor is. That's pretty straightforward. And then we have the, you know, the group of people who work on the show. Not that they're not important, but there's usually a lot of them. So visual effects people, stunt people. We have tons and tons of those people and they group get grouped into this third group here. So let's set that all up right now. So first we're going to grab our text tool and we're going to go here. And what we're going to make sure you have open is the essential graphics panel up here. So if you haven't got that open, just go to Windows and go for a look for essential graphics. And it should be docked somewhere. If you can't find it, it might be here, might be up here, but have it docked over here. And um, so we're gonna create our first title. So let's make it directed by, uh, you can pick who you like, Steven Spielberg. Oh, that could help if I could spell. Steven Spielberg. Uh, it's always an I before that E. Um, let's select everything and then we're gonna what we're going to do is we're going to center align the text and then we're going to go up here and pick this button here and it's got a horizontal center everything for us. And that's pretty good. So we'll go back here. We're going to press V to get this arrow tool and we're just going to shift this up just a touch because it's going to be right at the very top. And now what we're going to do is drag, drop, just uh, copy. Sorry, we're going to select this top section here and we're going to all caps it and we're going to actually bold it as well. And there you go, that is our first title done. So that is the big wigs. Um, we can duplicate this as well. So we're not gonna create another title. So what we're not gonna do is create another title and give us another instance. Sorry, that was not a good example, but what we're not gonna do is create another title on top as you can see here. So that's not what we wanna do. We actually wanna stay in the current title that we have and click in here and get another one as well. But not doing that, I don't wanna do that actually. So what we're gonna do here is credit. If we wanna duplicate this one, we can actually create another credit here. So we're gonna press V, we'll go down to this arrow tool and we'll drag it down, hold shift. We're gonna drag it down and we're gonna go produce by. And we can go a long time partner, George Lucas. And there we go. And now it's as easy as that to create those sort of credits. So once you've got that all set up, that's pretty easy. Now we're gonna create the cast credits now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, again, duplicate this and we're gonna drag it down. We'll go to this tool here, I'll press V and we're gonna drag this down. And we're just gonna keep the word directed by it. We're gonna change the top one. We'll just select everything and go change it to the word cast. Now, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna duplicate this one more time and we're gonna drag the V tool and we're gonna drag this down. And this time we're gonna drag it just around halfway here or just uh, just underneath here. 
And what we're going to do for this one is we're going to right align the text. And we're going to delete everything and we'll create our first uh, cast, uh, what I call our first character name. Um, so we'll call it Indy. And then we'll have Marion. And guys, tell me what your favorite Indiana Jones movie is. Leave it in the comment section below. I promise you, even if you like Indy 4, I will still accept you. All right. Now, what's cool about that is we're going to basically drag this and pull it just across from the center because it is directly centered right at the very moment. And we're, it might actually help to bring up the crosshairs so we can actually see where everything is. So let's bring up the safe margins just so we can see where we are. And as you can see here, there's the center right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the rulers. If you haven't got the rulers up, you can actually bring up the rulers right here, show rulers. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag in this space and bring one of the rulers over here so we know where the center is. So we always know where the center is. And what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this again. And we're going to press S, right? We're going to bring this to the other side. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to left justify it. Oops, I probably should have done that the other way. There we go. Now this time, we're going to uncaps everything because the names of the cast are always in uh, lowercase. All right, there we go. We've got that one set up. Now, now that we've got that one set up, we can actually group this into, you can actually put this into a group. So if you select, if we select the cast and then that and hold down shift and drag those uh, and select the other ones, you can actually go and group this. So we can create this group and we can call this, we can rename this cast. I just double clicked it to get the word cast to come up. So now that we've got as a group, we can actually move it around as a group, which is really good. So you can actually move it up or down. I'm holding down shift so it doesn't actually sort of drift around. But if you want to move it up or down, I'll just suggest holding shift and holding up and down. Uh, but that's a good where it is. Now let's duplicate that one more time. And we're going to create our last group, which is like the people who are, I don't know what you call these jobs, but they're the people who uh, do all the grunt work kind of jobs. Um, all right, so as you can see here, we're actually getting to the bottom of our thing, but there's no way to scroll up and down to be able to do that. So what do we do? We have this button over here called roll, and we're gonna turn that on and watch. As you can see here, it automatically gives us this little bar that allows us to scroll up and down the thing. And actually that puts an animation onto our credit. So as you can see here, it starts to roll at a very fast rate, but that's because the length of the clip is very short. So what you can do to actually make that run a bit faster to run a bit slower is to actually drag it out. And as you can see here, it runs a little bit more appropriately. Now, what we want to do for this last one is we're going to delete this left one. And we're going to go, let's just say, we're going to call this visual effects artists. And so you've got a whole bunch of people. So what we're going to do now is we're going to center align this one and this one will be a little bit different. You would ideally have this already typed out so make it just a little bit easier so that you don't uh, have to basically keep cutting and pasting all this stuff. I mean, if you can do a lot of this prior to you getting into this section, it's a lot easier, especially if you've got like pages and pages of things to basically throw down. I mean, I'm just cutting and pasting this from IMDB, but as you can see, um, it, does, it is a very time consuming uh, process. I'm pressing, I'm hold. I'm typing um, option or alt eight to get those little dots to come up. I noticed that in a lot of credits, that's what they kind of do is put a little dot between people. So, you know, the names have been separated, which I think, you know, people can appreciate. I'm not going to give all these guys in, but you get the general idea. You can put as many people as you like in that as well. All right. So that is our, that is the uh, basic outline of how to do this. And we've basically done, you know, one of the uh the the crew who directed uh Raiders who created Raiders of the Lost Ark <laughs> what a great movie that is um all right so we've got a couple more options here on the left here uh, we've also got you can actually start it off screen which is what we're doing but if you don't want that you can actually start everything on screen so that's an option if you want to do that likewise you can actually set the pre-roll here to be like four seconds into the clip. I don't know why you would, but you can. So it actually won't start rolling. It won't come on screen until after four seconds into that clip. Um, likewise, you can actually end the 
post roll four seconds earlier. So for whatever reason, if you want to end it four seconds earlier in that clip, you can. Um, and this is just how much you want to ease in and how much you want to ease out the clip. I've tried it. It doesn't really make much difference to me, but you can try it as well. Um, again, if you want to end it off screen as well, this will just end it kind of there, which is kind of weird. It doesn't actually end in the, I don't really know why this end off screen is there, but maybe there's a use for it. I don't really know. All right, so you've done all that. Now, you don't want to have to keep doing this over and over again. So what's great about this is if you just select that clip, you can go, all right, I'm going to actually save this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to graphics and then we're going to go export as motion graphics template. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make a new thing. We're going to call it end credit template. And we're going to save it. We're going to browse. And I've already made a little thing here called templates. I've done this a few times already, as you can see, and we're just going to press OK. All right, so what's great now is you can go in here. I've already kind of done this, but we'll just delete this anyway. Delete, just so I can show you how it's done. Yep. And we're going to go in and we're going to find what we're looking for in credits template. Now it'll come up here. It won't be as easy to find as that, but if you type in the word end credit or whatever you named it, you can type in the search bar type end, you'll see that comes up here. And what's great is that now it's all here and it's ready for you to go. Um, so now you've got those two groups you can actually muck around with. I should have actually renamed this um, uh, other, other workers or something. I'm sure there's a name for it. Um, laborers? I don't know. They're, they're, I mean, VFX artists are important people too, but I'm just saying, I don't know what you would call these. I don't know how you categorize these groups of people. Anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check out everything else that's happening with me week to week, you can go check out NickBenku underscore motion on Instagram. Hit me up, send me a message. We can just chat. I'm usually posting stuff in my stories all the time anyway. I also give movie reviews if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.